This video has been made possible by the European Cultural Foundation. Wherever you see these fences, it's, to, it's, it's, a, it's, it's for containment purposes. It's to keep those others out. In the Commons literature, what I noticed was that there wasn't really much of a space other than this piece on the mobile commons for talking about the commoning strategies of, of migrants. And there was also this assumption that something happens when we move, that we leave our past behind us. And what I was also trying to suggest was this idea that um, this idea of the collective or the commons that we're learning about here in the West is so much a part and parcel of non-Western cultures that they don't even have to think about acting collectively or acting cooperatively. I reference the wonderful poem by Robert Frost, um, which was published in 1914, called The Mending Wall, which people assume you know, good fences make good neighbors is part of the uh, line in his poem, and I'm sure it's a saying you've probably heard before and never really thought about. And most people assume that when he's talking about good fences making good neighbors, that he's actually um, putting in a pitch for the need for fences to, 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 to kind of to keep, um, um, to demarcate um, what is your space and what is my space. And so actually what you're seeing with these um, waves of migration that are collective is a commoning strategy that is embedded in the cultures from which they um, originate. The people are wondering, why are all these people coming here? You know, Kabul, you were there, you know? I mean, you've in different ways messed up our, our homes and our communities. Urban anthropologist Dr. Jane Efekwunigwe will be speaking at the IDEA camp from the 23rd of September until the 25th 